Hey everyone, it's Chris Loud. In this painting demo, I'm creating a colorful abstract painting inspired by everyday life. Hopefully this will help you see the world around you a little differently and find an abundance of inspiration from your surroundings. So what am I using as my inspiration for this painting? This shadow created by a lawn chair on a patio, something I passed by many times. And before I started painting, I did a few quick thumbnail sketches to play with the colors I was thinking about using. Bright aqua green, light blue permanent, burnt umber, Prussian blue, and titanium white. I also played with some water soluble pastels and a point liner pen. So I started off with a black alcohol marker and just started making some random marks and put a little bit of that shadow, just kind of an outline of it. Uh, you know, not knowing if any of these were going to show up, but I, I wanted to at least show up in the end. But I wanted to get some some marks down, uh, and then just started adding some some of these colors that uh, that I wanted to play with. Um, I really wanted to see if burnt umber was going to work with these colors, um, and I do think it it worked. But I just wanted to have a little bit of that showing by the end. Um, so I will put some of that down and, and play with it a little bit, but uh, by the end, I think uh, a good portion of that's covered up. So after I stopped recording the video, I came back to the painting and, and tweaked a few things. Uh, so at the end of the video, I'll show you that version in different orientations. And I'd love to hear in the comments which orientation you prefer, or if you think I need to keep painting. Uh, and at this point, I may or, or may not play with it some more. Um, I'm going to kind of let it sit for a few days and look at it with fresh eyes. So it's really pretty fun to, to find inspiration in the seemingly mundane, um, you know, the everyday stuff that we might walk past without a second glance very much like that shadow and I'm not I'm not just talking about seeing beauty in the ordinary um, you know that shadow is you know I don't look at that and think well that's a really pretty shadow it was an interesting shape uh, and that's really kind of what I was looking for was sh shapes and patterns and colors and just something that kind of stood out that I might not have normally stopped and paid any attention to But I'm, I'm talking about, you know, kind of tapping into that boundless source of, uh, you know, everyday items that are a great source for abstract art. Um, you know, that, that stuff that's all around us. So this painting, you know, other than the colors that I'm using and just uh, a, a vague shape that's similar to that, that shadow, this is fairly intuitive. I'm really just laying down paint and kind of reacting to that and, and looking for, for a direction, all the while knowing I wanted to keep that um, shape in there. So we're not just you know, pushing boundaries, we're, we're, we're blowing them wide open. Um, it's, it's like we're telling ourselves, you know, hey, there's, there's no box to think outside of. And suddenly, you know, everything around us becomes a potential muse. Um, that's the, the kind of creativity and innovation that, that we're all kind of after, right? You can see that I added a little bit of, of lime green. I wanted to um, get a little bit more brightness in there with, with um, some of these colors. And at one point here, I, I go back over some of those lines with a marker that I initially started with and was not happy with that. And that's where I think this painting kind of started falling apart and I had to start looking for a little bit more of a different direction. And, you know, something cool, the, the more we draw from our surroundings, um, the sharper that our eyes get. We'll start to notice details and patterns and colors and shapes that we overlooked before. So it's it's kind of like we're training ourselves to find kind of like treasures in, in the everyday. Uh, you know, this, this doesn't just enrich our art, 
it helps us change the way that we see the world. I know when I first started working with colors and when I was painting and um, looking at grass and you know if you had asked me before what colors grass I would have said green but when you start color mixing you start really looking at some of those colors and some of those objects that you're painting you start noticing that in grass you'll see reds in there you'll see yellows in there you'll see a lot of different colors and once you start seeing that that really catapults the way you paint and what you're seeing and you know what you can paint but here's kind of the kicker with with painting this way uh, you know when, when we base our art on common experiences and common items it speaks to people you know this this painting you might not look at this I might not have looked at this and thought oh that's a shadow um, but you might recognize something um, it becomes more accessible and someone might look at your piece and, and see something from their own life kind of staring back and that's that's a connection so you saw those those marks I put down I was not real happy with that it, I think it kind of really started pulling away from the painting so uh, now I'm adding some water soluble wax pastels just trying to regain some control over this painting and and uh, some kind of direction I should say and let's let's not forget you know there's a personal side to to painting and painting things that are around us I mean using what's around us lets us you know, add our stories and our emotions into our work and our lives. It, it does become, you know, more deeply personal and expressive. Plus, you know, great things, we're, we're never out of ideas. Every day brings something new uh, that you're seeing that you didn't see before, that you didn't pay attention to before. So it helps us keep our work fresh and exciting for, for both us and, and the people that are looking at our art. It adds some energy to it, you know, whether that's kind of a subtle energy or a chaotic energy, um, you know, that, that, that really enhances our work, I think. So you can see now that I'm I'm just covering all that up. I'm I'm using a brayer to roughen that that space is up, and and I'll continue doing that to help it um, work a little bit more throughout the painting. Um, I liked where I was going before. I do like this. I, I like that kind of raw, uh, rough look in painting. So I'm not upset that I'm I'm you know at this point. Um, I did like where I was going before I put the markers down. I could have probably recovered that, but I decided to to kind of go go this direction. So just remember that you know art doesn't need exotic subjects or, or themes. Um, you know we have we have plenty around us, just waiting to to be discovered. So if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And as I said before, I'd love to get your feedback in the comments. If you have any questions, please leave those for me. I'll show you coming up here the, the uh, version, at least where it stands right now. So anyway, let's, let's all challenge ourselves to, to, uh, to see the world a little differently, especially the world around us. So here's the final painting in a little better lighting. You can see that I've added some stripes. A little bit more green in, in some areas and then a little bit of uh, orange for, as a focal point. So thanks for watching and keep on painting.